All right, so I uh, looked at the key and I saw how they did it. It's a little different the way that I did it. So I'm going to show you how the way that they did it. Okay, so the first thing that they did is they prove they did the transversal uh, angles like I did. They said that these two angles were congruent. This was by the um, the alternate interior angles, alternate interior angles. Are congruent okay um, the next thing they did is they said XY was congruent to XY they said XY is congruent to XY said XY to said XY XY is congruent to x y okay again remember we're trying to prove that uh, these two line segments are congruent that didn't ink up at all these two line segments are congruent and we know that these two line segments are parallel, or are, uh, are these two line segments here are, didn't show up at all, I wonder why. This line segment here, DWYD is uh, the same length as this one here. Jumped ahead of there. Okay, this one. Okay. And then these two, this one and this one here, they're parallel. Parallel. Not to be confused with uh, congruent. Okay, so so that's what the, that's what they did. So they were able to say that these two were per, uh, congruent because it's a transversal and these are alternate interior angles. Okay, and then so now we're saying that this is congruent. These are congruent because of the reflexive property. Reflexive. Reflexive property. Okay. Okay. And then now we're able to say um, because of this that the this and this these two triangles here these two triangles say this is a three triangle these two triangles here, these two triangles here, so three, I'll put a triangle there, are congruent because of the uh, side angle side, side angle side, which is which is a good way to do it, okay? Um, and then because they're, they're congruent because of the side angle side, then you can say that these angles here are congruent, and you can say that W Y is congruent to W D to X D. This is four. This is four. Four because um, because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So so that's that's how they did a lot, lot, lot fewer fewer question or fewer. Uh, fewer steps than I did, but my steps answered uh, 9 and 10 as well. They're both yes for 9 and 10. So uh, different ways to solve different, uh, different proofs. Like I said, multiple ways to get to Disneyland um, or Disney World. Thanks, Landon, uh, for correcting me on that during my lecture. Um, but remember, you know, as long as you understand, you know, all of these different postulates and everything, you don't have to use them, but they're different tools and how to, how to get there. So just remember all that stuff. Um, hope that helps out to see all these different things, okay? Uh, they use the reflexive property and in alternate internal, in, in, uh, alternate interior angles. I prove these two congruence using vertical angles, alternate interior angles, and then CPCTC. I use CPCTC twice, they only used it once. So mine was a little longer, 
uh, but it answered 9 and 10 as well. So there is the, I'm going to slowly scroll up. So if you need to pause it, you can pause it. <clears throat> my drawing, my video, the first video I posted on this one uh, walks through this. So that should help. Hope that helps. Thanks.